Good morning, everyone. Listen, I just got on really quick. I wanted to tell you how excited I am about the next session. And now that you're ordained, what's next? What every elder should know. And so, um, of course, if you join us in session one and session two, I appreciate you joining. I thank you for your feedback. And um, I thank you for inviting others. Now, if session one and session two wasn't for you, Maybe session three is. Listen, this time around, we're going to deal with three key areas. Number one, we're dealing with the uh, order of service and the function of the elder. We're not just talking about call to worship, scripture, and prayer. I'm talking about equipping and preparing elders to flow the entire worship service, including, of course, welcoming first-time visitors, um, ministering the offering, ministering the invitation to discipleship, uh, ministering at the altar, if you have to do pastoral highlights, um, just giving you the information you need, the skills and the knowledge and um, experience that you need in order to function in the pulpit effectively. So if you're a pastoral assistant, if you're a first, a second, or third assistant, um, whatever your role or responsibility is in ministry, if you are on the pulpit or if you are on the mic, you need to take advantage of this course. Um, the other thing that we're going to focus in on is ceremonial services. Now, if you're an ordained elder, this will be applicable to you, especially when it comes to performing weddings, because in order to perform weddings, you must be an ordained elder who is registered with the state and there is a process and unfortunately a lot of elders are not familiar with that process and a lot of elders have performed weddings and have not registered with the state and um, if you go and read the laws of your state those marriages may be null and void. So with that being said, I want to encourage all of elders to join me for this session. I'm going to tell you the paperwork you need, what offices you need to contact in the process to do that. But also with weddings, we have to know how to properly fill out the wedding form. You will be surprised how many people struggle with that. And of course, getting that submitted on time because there is a certain time frame it must be submitted. And of course, we're just going to talk about a lot of things regarding the wedding and um, covenant marriages and counseling and premarital counseling and all those good things. That's a part of being an elder. And then when it comes to funerals, um, if you're the servant of service, uh, the appropriate scriptures to read at a funeral, um, how you're supposed to flow when you're actually calling up guest pastors um, to give their condolences on behalf of their ministries, um, and about a funeral sermon. Uh, what type of message should be prepared for a funeral? The part about committing the body at the grave site. Um, only ordained elders can do that. Of course, we're not the ones who actually put the body in the grave. That's what the um, funeral um, homes are for. But that piece that we say before they deposit the body is to be an ordained elder. Um, and so we're going to talk about that as well as christenings, baptisms, um, uh, doing the Holy Communion, um, depending on how your ministry is set up, the role of the elder, the function of the elder in that capacity, and the appropriate scriptures to read if you've been asked to read the scripture or prayer. So there is so much that we need to know and be equipped to do as ordained elders. And then we're going to deal with with the ministry of health the helps ministry and so if you are a minister a licensed minister you're ordained elder and you flow with the ministry of helps within your ministry you need to know about engaging in spiritual warfare and what it means to be on the front line and so we're going to talk about the do's the don't the scriptures um how to pray how to um, minister the baptism of the holy spirit how to uh, lay hands on someone and touch and agree with someone as it relates to when the bible talks about call for the elders of the church and the prayer of faith shall heal the sick and so it's going to be so much with going to be engaging and I'm super excited about it and I want you to get excited as well and I want you to join me all of the information is in the description go ahead and get your ebook get your e-course um, get session three and meet us next month uh, all the information is below and I promise you you're going to be blessed so until the next time I look forward to seeing you on zoom God bless have an amazing day because you serve an amazing God and you are indeed an amazing person be blessed on today